everybody, how are you doing today? It has been a hot minute. Um, today I was thinking of actually starting a new Let's Play of The Sims Medieval. I actually really, really like this pack. And I apologize in advance if this is a bit of a lengthy um, Let's Play. It's just, there's so much going on in this game. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy, and I am actually going to start an ambition that I have not played before, the um, Peacemaker one. So let me, yeah, let's join. I am going to name, okay, I'm going to do better than when I done a test video of this Let's Play. I named the kingdom test and I couldn't change it. So anyway, I'm going to name this kingdom Neverland and you will see why in just a second. I will get the starting funds to a thousand because I don't actually feel like furnishing the throne room so we'll just keep that there. Okay. So we need actually a monarch to get started. And we actually have a monarch con created. Um, actually, when I was trying to make Sims, wait, wait a second. Are you freaking telling me it did not save? Well, that pees me off badly. I actually had, okay, let's go back. Actually, no, maybe I can recreate them. Are you sure it didn't? Yes, it did. Well, shit my pants. Okay. But looky here. This is my creation. <laughs> I was graced by the gods with this. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, this is Michael Freddy Jackson, our king. So, yeah. Oh, we got to make his traits. Um, let's see. He's adventurous. Um, and he's good. Let's see, where's the good? Right here. And his bad trait is insecure. Okay, there we go. Michael Freddy Jackson, everybody. <laughs> okay, um... I don't need to actually furnish that. I just want to go ahead. First steps. Do I really need the church? I don't really want. Okay. As much as I can't stand the tutorials of this. Okay. So, everybody. Here is our Michael Freddy. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to, because this is in window mode, because when I recorded in full screen mode, it was dark. Okay, what do you want me to, okay, go upstairs and gussy up in the mirror. So let's go ahead and gussy up. Do, do, do. I just looked at here, says he is agnostic. He's the same as me. <laughs> okay, I gussied up. Now what? Okay, a little more focused. Okay, what? Hello. We're going to discuss the castle with you. Um, 
Moleson, Chesik Moreke? Zadim, Tanith Kopenda. If Thurlund's all done, my lord, we'll need resources to begin the next building of the kingdom. Woodstone and supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the better of my kingdom. I shall make my way. Okay. So, let's go to the location. And so, Michael Freddy embarks on his journey to get some wood. The thing about this game, you have to walk everywhere. Just like the medieval times. But I got a fast pass. No, not really a fast pass. Okay, so what we need to do is discover these flowers. And we need to collect these flowers. See, I've already done a test run. So I know kind of what to do. At least for the first few missions. Oh, and here comes somebody. Well, well, a victim has visited my force. You better hand over your money if you know what's good for me. Good for you. Well, um, I challenge thee to a duel. Apparently, you're too dumb to realize that I am the king. I throw my glove at you, sir, or ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Hit. Ouch! Don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit her in the tit. That is a special move. Hit women in the tits. I'm just kidding. No. Hit her in the tit again. Hit her in the tit again, dude. Hit her in the tit. Ooh, get her, get her, get her. Ooh, no. Come on, Michael Freddy. Yes, hit her in the tit. Yes! The tit smash always works. You're finished. How dare. Aha. That's what you get. And there's... There are two people... You, Michael Freddy, you are just stepping on his face. Well, you are the king, but still, there's these two just passed out. I have no idea, but let's discuss grave digger. Oh my God, <sighs> yawning. Well, my Lord, I was just wondering if we could consider building a church here in the kingdom. An interesting proposition, but we need to right now go collect stone into the scary, spooky cave while these people just lay passed out here. Builder Vix and Builder Wedge. <laughs> the name Wedge reminds me of a character on Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> That was my first Final Fantasy, by the way. Why are you laughing? I, I, yeah, I, I kind of would laugh at them too. I don't know what's wrong with them or why they are just 
there, but <laughs> it is what it is. Any day now, sir, to get the stone. Okay, um, Freddy, I mean, Freddy, why do I want to call him Freddy all the time? Michael Freddy collected stones while venturing, venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, he climbed down to a sheer drop into Dark Abyss. At the bottom, Michael Freddy reached an underground lake. He stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. What should Michael Freddy do? Well, I've done this before. And we're not going to open it. But, oh, good lord. But, there was $225 we got. Because when he backed away, the ripples disturbed the chest. And suddenly the chest grew hot and exploded. And luckily, Michael Freddy kept his distance. And he was not burned. And he was only knocked on his feet. So he... Got some burning hot coins that amounted to $225, or simoleons. That should be enough stone, and for some reason... Yes, um, yeah. We've got to go to the market. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ, quit. Since when can I rotate? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, we need to go to the village shop. So, what I need to do is go to the village shop. But we are not going to fast travel. Mm -hmm. Why does that stone look like a chest? Ooh, cue the video where I start yawning like crazy. I am so tired 24 7. Okay, so he is going to the village shop, and I really do not. No, I guess we can buy some meat and some cheese, but yeah, I bought this. I don't know why I got to buy anything for. Okay, a stocky man approached Michael Freddy, then bowed. I have heard word of your rival and your honor, and in your honor, I have prepared two gifts to help you build your kingdom. However, I shall give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on the answer of this question. What virtue would you rather bring to Neverland? As I build my kingdom, I value the safety of my people over our offensive strength. My people are my heart. The, fit, the fierce strength of the kingdom is at utmost importance. A kingdom with no power is no kingdom at all. But with Michael and Freddy being the people they are, we are going to go with my people are my heart. And we received a monarch's armor of fortune. And they want us to equip that, so we equip that. And here he comes back. Whoa! Why did it... For some reason it... <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we got that, and we equipped that, and what do we need to do? King, King, help, please. Oh, check safety. We need to actually check on this woman. Great 
and apparently there is a woman in town square she pushed me in the mud and called me names this can't happen in neverland well since that happened we need to go to said woman a bully in my kingdom i do not think so i don't think so actually not do not oh well <laughs> so michael freddy is going to confront this bully That must be her, and we are going to send to the stocks because she is a poopy head. Arrest Liveleth. Okay, so yeah. She is going to be arrested, and we will go to the Judgment Zone. And you don't want to go to the Judgment Zone, because there is a big, mean, ground creature up here. You'll see in just a second. Now to shame the bully, we have got to, oh, she's pretty. Yeah, but there is a big mean monster right here, but she is going to go to the stocks and we are going to go here and shame and ridicule this lady. So get into the stocks, that's a good girl. And we are going to, um, actually, we are going to throw a tomato. Excuse me. She's already threw a tomato, but it is your king's turn to throw a tomato. Please, thank you. Move that up. No. <laughs> That's so bad, but so funny. And they want us to throw an egg, so we're going to throw an eggy at her. All right, uh, it's good to be king. And now we will go to the throne room. Thank you for helping. There goes my carrier pigeon. And we will donate to the poor there. Okay, expect a new advisor. And now we ask Royal Stefan. I like that name for some royal advice as everybody is gathered in the room here. I said, ask him for advice, please. Okay, throne room is a bit lacking. Okay, so we have got to buy something in, wait, no, that's not the right one. Um, so what we will buy, I'm going to put some, yeah, some beer in the middle of the f gosh darn place. Much better. And they are happy with that. And now we are going to declare a throne room open. So I will declare it open. Le Comte Janelle Torek. not a bad idea and so we view the political situation mm -hmm. 
be saved just in case. Excuse me, Stefan, can you quit playing like um, medieval battleships on my tactical map? Because I want to view the political situation, please. No, Mr. Big Dude. Scallywag. Yeah, you sure as heck are scallywag. Like, move out. Okay. So, there is Neverland. And here is... I can't say the name there. And here is Craftol. <laughs> Craftol. <laughs> okay. And now we discuss uh, we discuss the future of the kingdom with this person, the building guild dude. But sir, could you please? Oh, sir, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. So I think... What will you build, Highness? Okay. So I think... Yeah. So I completed this quest. The... Um, yeah, the first steps quest. And now... Hmm, let's see. I can't exactly um, build. I don't think I can build anything yet. Yeah, I don't have enough. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, but I can. Hmm. Actually, let's see. A clinic, and a, I am going to actually buy a wizard's. Thing. Not wizards, a clinic. But we need a new physician and we will click Rebecca because I don't feel like making one actually right now. So yeah, we got a clinic. And now since the clinic, hmm, let's see. The quest uh, contains royal holiday, family quest, ominous tides, but let's try the genie quest for now. Free the genie. Use the wishes. So we are going to do that because we do not actually, actually, actually let's make that wait and do royal holiday. And a little time off and yes it's been all a bit much well hunt so we are going to ask our royal advisor Stefan again oh he needs a higher relationship okay well since that's that let me go ahead and sleep for the rest of the day because it has been a long day. Oh, he looks so cute in his little attire. And we will sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have a dream. As Lord Michael Freddy slept, feelings of comfort and happiness begin to solidify in a beautiful dream. The distant soft music was carried on by a fragrant spring breeze. The smiling faces cheered his approach. Michael Freddy could see a shining golden road leading towards breathtaking paradise. In the opposite direction, a robe faded into thick mist, though Michael Freddy could almost make out in the dark and still bedchamber, barely visible through the fog. 
So he can either embrace joy or control dream. So we are going to click control dream. And what happened? Lord Freddie Michael addressed the cheering crowd who listened with ripe attention. Every request he made was catered to as they made their way towards the shining gates to paradise. However, as they drew near, the crowd shrank and the world around Michael Freddie seemed a little less vibrant. Steps away from Utopia. Michael Freddie fell to the ground hard as a crowd completely disappeared and the world dissolved in a gray void. But we received 25 XP and received a joyful buff. So that's good. Okay, so we are going to get up and let us make some breakfast, which is probably just going to be yucky old um, gruel. Yeah, that's what I said, gruel. So he is going to go and make that. Oh, she's pretty too. Why are all these women so pretty? Dominic, that's his name. Build Master Dominic. Um, Oh, he didn't want to listen to my gossip. That's all right, though. Oh, he really is not. Well, you know what? Let me go talk to these women because they are very pretty. And maybe they can actually tell me what I seek. What was that sound? Whoops. Belgem Mobralen. Ooh, she's pretty too. Goodness gracious, there's so many pretty people. So many pretty women. My bi butt. My bisexual butt is just focusing on the women. <laughs> They actually look alike, kinda. And we were going to ask about Smortly, I think that's how you call it. Okay, while the bustle of Smortly isn't for everyone, there's always something there that'll entertain. They 
Ravel and spe Spectacle? Oh well. And Daily Spectacle. Lord of mercy. And have daily tournaments and feast. I have a great I had a great time and I record I recommend a visit smartly to anybody. Well, I think I am actually going to go to Luffington. Something I can kind of pronounce, I guess. So, and off he goes. Into the pirate ship. Goodbye, Michael Freddy. Have a safe flight. Why is the boat just a jerking? Boat jerking. Wait, no, never mind. Okay. The air of Luffington was crisp as Lord Michael Freddy walked into the famed Leaping Lamb Tavern. The bartender extended a hand, broke in a jovial smile, and regarded Michael Freddy with a surprise. We don't get much royalty in here, but your roller but you royals need your drinks as much as the rest of us, eh? Today's special, all you can drink, Luffington Ale or Wine. Choose one and choose wisely. A frothy ale sounds delightful. Um, we're going to go with some wine, actually. And what happened is the bartender pour a small trouble trumbler of Liffington wine for... Lord Michael Freddy and gave him a wink. Michael Freddy took a sip and was immediately overwhelmed by the flavor. He quickly ordered another and savored the taste. This was, to put it simply, magnificent. Received hint of egg. Hint of egg. Gross. Sir, hint of. Ew. That don't sound good to me. <laughs> But that's just me. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, tin wine. Oh, so I actually need some grapes and spices and barley and grapes. Okay. Mm. Good. Um, grapes, eggs, ah, add, add, and, um, do you have any spices, peach, spices, or barley, fiddle, um, I don't, here, I don't know, let's see, cheese, don't need cheese, spy, ah, oh, here's some barley, add, let's make, do I need spices, I don't think they got, oh, there's spices here, okay, yeah, okay, um, I might add another one here, and, oh, wait, wait, Barley, come here, back bar barley. One, one, two. And just in case, add another grape. One, two. Okay, there we go. Now let's go home. A letter we got. That's for please spread the word. Oh, so I went there for nothing. Oh my god! A letter we got. That's for please spread the word. Oh. So I went there for nothing. Oh 
my god. And I hear somebody using my chamber pot again. Why is everybody in my bathroom? Okay. Unlock the recipe. Learn, brew, and drink. Okay. Hopefully I got the right ingredients, but because if I don't, I swear to God, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> uh, wine. Lovington wine. Of course, I need a gosh darn egg. Gosh, dilly, darn it. And here he sits on his lovely throne. King Freddy. I mean, King. Why do I keep calling him Freddy? King Michael Freddy. Yes, sir. Your cat. Excellent. Elvis. Alvis. <laughs> okay. Mighty one, I have a problem. I am possessed by demons. That's not the problem, though. The problem is I'm beginning to enjoy it. What should I do? Go get to a church. If you're enjoying it, that is the first sign that something is wrong. Get to the church midly and tell them the monarch has authorized their strongest exorcism. And... Or go to a tavern. There's the only place where you place to go when you feel that good a tavern go and share your newfound zeal for merrymaking i'm going to cause a little bit oh excuse me i'm going to cause a little bit of chaos and tell him to go to the tavern of course your highness i should have seen it thank you for your guidance lord michael freddy's popularity has increased he is now light within the kingdom okay um <laughs> Jesus that that's actually I, <laughs> in real life I would tell somebody to go see an exorcist but you know okay who's ready to make another one come on chop chop I said who is ready to make another one where are you people? Stefan? Anybody? Seriously? Ah, here comes somebody. Hello. What do you want? You're not exercised by demons, are you? Um, my liege, I have little money and no possessions save for a peasant grade loot. What was that? I live only on donations from kind citizens and from performing for the local children, but now I must produce $300 or lose my home. Take pity. Musicians are beloved in the community. It would not reflect well on the monarch if I allow one of the their favorite performers to become a homeless beggar, or no pity for you, the castle cannot simply dispense large sums of money to every sad person in the kingdom. Sad person in the kingdom? Dude, if I give hands out now, when will they end? No, I'm going to take pity because Michael Jackson would take pity. I am overcome with your generosity. Your Majesty, I shall write a ballad in your honor and perform it for all who are here. Michael Freddy's popularity queefed. Bequeathed. <laughs> His popularity queefed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, no. But his popularity increased. Not queefed. Increased. <laughs> and he is now quite popular among the people. Jeez. Christ, what is this? <laughs> okay, now I need one more and I will get. Oh, 
I will get this skull clear. Hello, Love Rick. That's a beautiful name, Love Rick. Hello. What do you want? I am a tired king. Ew! Oh my god. Y'all. I want you to look at this man. I can't actually pan over, but look at this man. He has a dead ass rat on his side. Bitch, what the hell? That's so gross. A d Yuck! Why do you have a dead ass rat? You know what? Love Rick, your name ain't pretty. Uh uh. I take that back. You have dirty, yucky mice carcasses strapped to your side. Okay, what in the world do you want? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Great one. The equipment we use to test witches is considered outdated and barbaric. I ask you to fun finance some upgrades so our equipment may be new, be new and barbaric. Yes, the equipment is a little inquitted, but it's never been wrong. I can't justify the cost at this time, or let's do it. Those witchy, witchies, those witchies, <laughs> those witches are crafty. We have to give them opportunity. We can't give them opportunity to outsmart our obsolete testing methods. Uh, sure, let's do it. Thank you, Your Highness. This will buy us many gourds and scrapers. Ew! Lord Michael Freddy's popularity has greatly increased. Okay, so I am done with that. Okay, brew. Let's see. Lifting wine. Thank you. There we go. Okay, now you get a drink. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Messenger, send letter of thanks. There we go. Goodbye, pigeon. And the quest is complete. And yep, the entire kingdom. We got level three. As the renown of Neverland grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Neverland found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house and the ever-flowing of visiting foreign dig dignitaries. So with a flurrying of activity and present, uh, peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. And, yeah. What can we actually buy now? Ah, can I? Yes, I want to buy this wizard thing. And we need a new wizard. And, um, I'm actually going to create my own wizard. Yes. We are making Gandalf, by the way. Gandalf is my most favorite um, Lord of the Rings character besides 
Boromir, and Merry. Okay, but yes, that is going to be our Gandalf, but first let me get a different nosy posy for him. Yeah, that's a little better, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Gandalf has blue eyes, yeah, he has blue eyes. And kind of more of that. Yeah, there we go. Name him Gandalf the Great. And his traits. Um, Earth. Just being outside. Um, he is friendly. Scholarly, I think so. Yes, he's friendly and scholarly, but his um, other trait, let's see. Um, he's not cowardly. Um, I'm just going to put that he is an insomniac. Our Gandalf cannot sleep good. Okay. There we go. Um, wait. Is there actually... Uh, can I make everything a little bit more whiter and more grayish? Um... Yeah, let's make it a little more grayish. A wizard is never late. But soon you know about me. I love absolutely positively more than anything love the Lord of the Rings. Because the Lord of the Rings was something very special to me. It was something that my mother and I bonded over. We'd watch the movies like hundreds and hundreds of times and it was something that me and her would do. But since she is gone now, I only have the memories of that. So the Lord of Rings is very special to me. Okay, so there is our Gandalf. But does it, can he have a wizard? Oh my God, look at this Gandalf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is yep um Gandalf in his furry era <laughs> oh there is okay make it this gray um, make it gray but make it a little more gray yeah 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 you know gray gray that's more bluish um, now make it more gray. Uh, 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 that'll, no, two, yeah, that will do. Oh, look, he's even got a little, that's cute. Okay, that will do because... Yeah, but this is our, um, bootleg Gandalf. <laughs> but yeah, that is our Gandalf. There we go. All right. So, this is what I'm going to do, everybody. I am actually going to leave this here. And if you guys really enjoyed this, we will continue it and we will play as our wizard Gandalf and plus some other stuff. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, everyone. If you could leave a like and if you could comment because it helps my channel greatly. And it is also August. So my August goal is to reach 150 subscribers. So if you hadn't subscribed and want to, please go ahead so I can 
finish that August goal, but you don't have to. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video, and as always, hope for a better tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody, and have a great day.